And uh, now we're back with 105-8. And, uh, you know, this guilt, uh, again, in this 105 letter, much like the 115s that we just talked about, it would be fun to bring all of the 105s out here and really sort them as a litter because I think uh, – I think we would we would have fun trying to decide which one was the best today, uh, and more importantly, which one's going to be the best at their end point. Uh, I think 105-8 is is one of the combo gilts in the in the group in terms of her way to combine the good of, of all of them, um, and yet not be too far in in one direction uh, from a detrimental standpoint. Uh, the 105s are sired by Absolute. Uh, this sow is a no intro uh, little bro. You know, I've talked at length about the depth of this litter, and it's on full display here uh, with the 105s. You know, my first view of this guild is when she kind of come right at me at that front three-quarter view, and I couldn't help the first thing that hit me is this, you know, I just envisioned this little guild coming out of about a parity three sow out of these Quonset huts out here on the dirt. This is the kind of female, in my opinion, that has built the brand uh, in Taylor, Missouri on the hill in terms of that genuine, just opened up, big rib, problem free. You know, and Jesse used the word combination. And so many times right now in livestock judging, oh, we don't like the word complete, you know, and complete and common and all the above. No, no, no. There's not, There's something to be said in modern day show livestock when you're not jacked up anywhere. Okay, that's called quality. That's called good. And I think this one hits me as one of those genuine tough bit. She could be an open gilt coming out of the slap barn to build the brand sales. She could be a parody three sow that's proven. She hits me with that kind of genuine generator quality about her skull, her blade, her cage, and her arm. Tremendously square behind. I'm a big fan of this one. Good pig. 105-8.